in response to the definitive motor testing video. A viewer asked why we didn't use the official LEGO force sensor in place of the scale. Having a data stream rather than an LCD screen could be useful, but we had tried this device in the dynamometer car and we had doubts about its accuracy. First, what is the Technic Force Sensor? It's a three by three by five brick with a button on one end and the wire on the other. The button can depress and the device can output the force applied up to 10 newtons and the distance moved up to a stud. It also has Boolean states for touched and pressed. Uh, more on that later. When we first tested the sensor in Pybricks, we didn't have a good way to verify the results, some of which seemed quite suspicious. More recently, having used a kitchen scale to instrument our prony break, we realized that we could use said scale to test the force sensor as well. This device uses a worm drive to press the sensor into the scale. In theory, the force read from the former should match the force derived from the latter. As such, plotting the two against each other while gradually pushing the devices together should give a perfectly straight line. Of course, that didn't happen, at least not all the way. The results parallel each other for values over 2 newtons, but the force sensor data, both the force and the distance, literally go off a cliff below that. Even then, parallel does not mean equal. The scale consistently registered higher numbers, um, even over multiple runs with different data points. I suspect this defect exists because LEGO tried to multitask with this device, uh, including the touched and pressed readings. These just happen to trigger a bit before and a bit after the cliff at around 0.5 newtons and 3 newtons respectively. Perhaps we will take the sensor apart in the future. Uh, comment if you want to see that. Unfortunately, we really want to use the lower part of the range rather than the upper part, since we start testing at zero and increase the load. We could theoretically find a way to preload the force sensor and begin after the cliff, but this is some trouble and there is one more plot twist. This kitchen scale is intended to weigh potentially small amounts of ingredients for cooking and is presumably pretty accurate. It is experimentally pretty precise as well. Every time I place this jar of hoisin sauce, the scale reads very close to 440 grams. If I add and remove weight by pressing on the jar, the scale still reads very close to 440 grams, well within 1%. So how does a scale using the force sensor handle this test? Well, not quite as well. 
we already know it tends to read lower than the actual scale, but it also doesn't read as precisely. Removing the jar 10 times and pressing on it 10 times returned a range of about 5%, which isn't terrible, but not as good as the scale. Furthermore, despite the three digits of precision output by Pybricks, many of the same numbers keep coming up, suggesting that the actual sensor has a much lower resolution than presented. You could argue that the linkage required to hold the jar steady and depress the sensor linearly has either friction or cogging that could mess up the measurement. But any sort of mechanism that integrated the force sensor would have the same problem. So the TLDR, it ain't great. It isn't that accurate, uh, especially below two newtons, and it isn't that precise either. Why couldn't LEGO have made this better than a cheap kitchen scale? Uh, it could be anything from use case to form factor requirements. There is a small chance our unit could be defective, but it was new and it was very lightly used. On that note, uh, let us know in the comments how well yours works and have a nice day.